Great. Um, so my name is Alex Howes. I'm here today to talk about um, some of the, uh, here we go. Oh, I'll do that. Um, I'll just hold it. Uh, some of the career development opportunities that are available to you here uh, at the Faculty of Information. Um, so Kara's done a great job of explaining some of the, um, what we call work integrated learning opportunities, our uh, internships and our exhibitions. Um, so I'll talk briefly about that, but if you did want to have uh, any uh, specific conversations or if you did want to ask any questions, uh, I will be available uh, afterwards as well. So uh, with that, uh, we'll start, uh, I'll start by talking about some of the uh, in-support services that are available to you. Um, career support is available uh, full-time all year round. Uh, and one of the areas uh, is one-on-one -on -one advising. So. Um, as uh, Masters of Information, or sorry, uh, Masters of Museum Studies students, uh, you would have the opportunity to sit down and have a conversation uh, about any topic related to career development. So uh, career exploration, uh, you know, where can my degree take me, what types of jobs are available out there, uh, and also specific job search as well. Uh, so we do review, uh, resume reviews, we do job interview preparation as well. Um, and other areas uh, related to that. So uh, that's available uh, all year round as I mentioned. Uh, as well, we have a number of career development workshops as part of our iSkills workshop series. Uh, iSkills workshops, there are about 40 of them, uh, ranging from a variety of different topics, but uh, I'd say about 7 to 10 of them uh, are related to career development. So uh, these take place at the start of every semester uh, in September and in January. Uh, and again, we cover topics related to resume review, uh, job interview prep, um, LinkedIn, leveraging LinkedIn for people that uh, are looking for an online presence as well. Um, so these are very common and very popular uh, programs that we have um, through our iSkills uh, series. Uh, as Carl mentioned, we have a number of events that take place throughout the year. Uh, so we do have a professional association networking event uh, that takes place every November. Uh, so we invite professional associations from uh, all different areas related to museums and galleries uh, to come in and talk about um, some of the opportunities that they have. Uh, they run a number of events uh, throughout the year themselves uh, and really a great networking opportunity. Uh, we also run an employer showcase, so we have a career fair that just took place uh, back in January, a couple weeks ago, uh, again where we bring in uh, professional organizations that are hiring for opportunities to come in uh, and speak to students. So that's great because it's right in the building, it's right upstairs, uh, and a lot of them are really active alumni as well that come back and actually do hire our students full time. Uh, we have a very active alumni community, as I just mentioned. So uh, as part of our uh, FIA, our Faculty of Information Alumni Association, um, they do coordinate and we work with them very closely uh, to coordinate our job shadowing program. Um, so this is an opportunity for you to uh, get hands-on experience uh, in the field uh, for anywhere from about half day to a full day. Um, and these opportunities take place uh, throughout the GTA and throughout Ontario, really, if you're willing to travel. Uh, we have our Ask an Alum program, so it's uh, essentially an opportunity for you to uh, collect with, um, connect with alumni uh, very informally. Uh, so we provide you with their contact information and you're invited to reach out to them, uh, again, to have conversations around career development, what types of opportunities are out there for me, um, you know, how do I get in the field. Uh, so we work very closely with our alumni community. Uh, we also coordinate our job site. Uh, we have an online job board, which some of you may have uh, been familiar with. If not, you're welcome to check it out. It is a public-facing website. Uh, so we coordinate uh, and we post positions uh, on a daily basis, really, uh, that are uh, related to museum uh, and information. So these are full-time, part-time volunteer positions. Uh, and again, they're available all year round. Uh, so Akara did a great job of talking about some of our internships and exhibitions, so I won't get into too much detail, uh, but just a quick overview. Uh, internships uh, are available uh, and optional for students uh, in the summer between their first and second year. So again, these are 12-week internships. Um, we have relationships with folks uh, around the country and around the world, really. Um, so these are great ways for you to get involved uh, and get really uh, hands-on work experience. Uh, what's really great about um, the internship and the exhibition as well um, is that it's really part of the conversation here at the faculty. Um, everyone's talking about career development and you know, where can my degree take me? So uh, it's not just me. Uh, it's something that you'll hear from, from a lot of different people about um, you know, professional development. So again, Cara's done a great job of going over some of the uh, positions and organizations our students have gone off to work for. Um, if you want to take a quick look, uh, you'll see uh, some more traditional um, opportunities and some more non-traditional opportunities for you. Um, development officer, um, education, public engagement officer. Um, so quite a breadth of opportunities that uh, this degree can take you. 
And on the right, there's uh, just some of the uh, more exciting um, places that our students have gone off to work for and some of our alumni as well. Uh, so again, these are um, domestic, you know, local and international uh, organizations. Uh, and then we do uh, actually do an alumni uh, employment survey uh, for students that have graduated. We want to get information. We want to see where they're at, um, how satisfied they were with the program. Um, so this is some of the information that we've gathered from the last year uh, based on students that are um, uh, one year to 16 months out of the program. So uh, you'll see four out of five students are employed uh, in full-time positions within six months. Four out of five of these students are in positions that are closely related to their field. And three out of five students are in positions within the GTA. So that's quite the majority there. 